play. Go for it. Yeah, so, um, about a year ago, um, I would say that I really did not hear from God in a way that, like, I could understand I was hearing from God, and, um, and that was hard, because I, I did know that that was something that people did, people, um, just had a relationship with God and could talk to Him, but, uh, I never really felt like that was me, and so, yeah, almost a year ago now, um, me and a group of guys, a couple guys, uh, got together with Uncle Matt and just heard some really cool stories about, um, yeah, how he and other people had had these relationships with God, um, and had times when they know, like, with beyond a shadow of a doubt that they had heard from God. And so we went, we were going to practice that, and so we were walking down to the field, and guys, I was just, I was like crying, because... I, I was so scared that I was going to put myself in this position that I wanted to hear from God and I wanted to hear Him speak to me for maybe like the first time in my life and what if He didn't show up and what if, like what if it wasn't for me, what if I wasn't meant to be able to hear God's voice. And I know these are all just lies that the Satan was telling me at the time but like I felt them so strongly and so we were walking and Uncle Matt told me one thing that kind of stuck with me was if you put yourself in a position to hear from God, God's not just going to leave you there. He's going to meet you in that place. He's not just going to say, no, I don't have time for you, Callum. So that meant a lot. And so we got down there and guys, the coolest thing happened. Like, like we were just praying for one of our friends and I can tell you with certainty that God gave me a vision. Like, if I close my eyes now, it's like almost like I'm still there and I can see it, like, in my mind. I was just walking and in this vision and I could just see so clearly what God wanted to show me. And I'm not sure I can tell you what it was, but I can tell you guys that I didn't understand and the person that this vision involved didn't understand at the time, but almost a year later, like, I can tell you that I I know God was what God was telling me then. And and I think it meant a lot to that person. So, um, yeah, that was so cool. Just, and I think it had to be a vision for me then because otherwise I could have just said, oh, that was in my mind or that was something, something. But God knew I was really hurting in that place and like he gave me something special. And so I was so thankful for that. But there have been some other times that God has spoken to me. Um, one time we were praying for, uh, Actually, just one of the guy's dads that we meet every Thursday, his dad was there with us one time. And this was a cool one for me because, like, I felt it. Like, we were just praying, and all of a sudden my heart began to beat, like, hard, 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 hard in my body. And, like, almost to the point where it hurt. Like, I was worried. <laughs> I was scared. And, uh, yeah, so my heart was beating hard, and I was like, God, what is this? What is this? So I was, like, I was leaned into that a little bit, and, um... And God revealed something really cool to me in that he gave me just another picture in my head that um, that I think meant a lot also to the person that I was talking to. So it's just, it's kind of cool that I've been able to experience how God talks to me in different ways this year. Um, whether it's in something so obvious like a vision or even just, just something physical like my heart's beating hard or my fingers are tingly or something, something. Um, yeah. And other times it really is just that just that thought or that idea, something that God puts on you, something that won't let go of your heart. Like I can think of times where just, like I wake up in the morning and I'm praying and someone comes to my mind and then I have like the greatest conversation with them later about something specific that God God was sharing with me. And at the time it does really does not feel like God is, God's saying something, but guys, I know he is. And like, to think about where I was a year ago, even less than a year ago, like nine, ten months ago, like, and to where I am now, like, I just thank God so much, because, yeah, I don't know, it's so, it's so beautiful in my life just to see how God's been working through that, and as I continue to move on from RVA, I just can't wait to see, like, the things that God's going to do with me now that I've opened my heart to, um, just having a closer relationship with Him.